Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Summer. Today I'm going to be going over best travel size blow dryers. As a hairstylist, I have always been one who travels with all my tools and I always get so shocked when clients tell me that they just use the hotel blow dryer. So I also understand not everyone wants to lug around their dryer from their house. So that's where travel size blow dryers can come in handy. Aside from vacation getaways, these are also a great idea for gym trips before work if you are one who showers at the gym and then just head straight to work from your gym. I'm going to be reviewing Bioionics Gold Pro Travel Dryer, Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Travel Dryer, and Kristen S Space Saving Compact Pro Travel Dryer. So one might ask, What's wrong with a hotel blow dryer? The main issue I have with hotel blow dryers is usually they are old and they don't have concentrators on the dryer. The point of a concentrator is not only to help you get a better blowout, but it also is meant to help protect your hair from directly hitting your blow dryer. See, without the concentrator on your dryer, your hair is going to be rubbing directly against the metal that's here, which is going to cause more damage and burning to your hair. On top of protecting your hair from hitting that metal plate, a concentrator literally concentrates the airflow to the section you are drying, resulting in a smoother style and longer lasting results. So this is where the option of a smaller travel dryer comes in mind, especially for those who like to pack light when traveling they are small enough to fit into any carry-on bag, gym bag, and possibly even your purse. So first up, we have Bioionics Gold Pro Travel Dryer. This is a 1200 watt motor folding dryer with a six foot cord. Bioionic has moisturizing heat technology that's going to help your hair stay hydrated while drying. This has a one year warranty and retails for $99. Next up, we have Kristen S Space Saving Compact Pro Dryer, which is also 1200 watts. It has a cool shot button as well, which is always a plus, and it has a nine foot cord. This also has ionic technology that's going to help lock in moisture, eliminate frizz, and help with shine. This retails for $50. And last but not least, we have the Babyless Pro Nano Titanium Travel Dryer. This is a 1000 watt motor, very lightweight with nano titanium technology, which is going to give you some added shine. It has a one year warranty as well and retails for $34.99. I will of course link all of these dryers in the description below. Should you choose to buy one, the links will take you directly to where you can purchase them. So of all three of these dryers, the common denominators is that they all fold up, taking very little storage space for any bag that you're carrying them in. They each have low and high speed settings. All come with a concentrator nozzle to give you that concentrated airflow to help get your hair smooth and protect it from the metal on the actual blow dryer. Kristen S and Bioionic, they both come with travel carrying bags to store your dryer in where the baby list does not. And Bioionics actually comes with a cute little mini flat brush that will also give you a more travel friendly brush option as well. I went ahead and used all three dryers on myself this past week, as well as on clients in the salon to get the best idea of how they perform. I have stick straight fine hair. One client I used it on has curly frizzy hair and the other more straight, but lots of it. So the Bioionic actually took me only 10 minutes to dry my own hair, which I was really impressed with. When traveling, I don't put quite as much effort into my blowouts as I do at home, but even that 10 minutes, it's still a very quick time frame. My client with the more curly frizzy hair, I felt it got her hair dry in ample time in the section I used it on, and it did a great job on smoothing out her wave and frizz. I was surprised with how little iron work I needed to do after the fact. My client with thicker straight hair, the speed it got her sections dry quickly and I was impressed with it on her as well. On myself, the Kristen S dryer took me 14 minutes to dry my whole head, which is a little longer than Bioionic, but it's still an impressive time. Using it on my more curly frizzy client, I felt it left more movement and bounce in the hair compared to Bioionics actually. I appreciated the cool shot option that's going to help lock in your style. However, if you are one who wants the straightest blow dry, the Bioionic wins in this category. But if you're somebody who appreciates the fullness and bounce that your hair might have, Kristen S is probably going to be your go-to. On my client with thick straight hair, it got the hair dried in a nice ample time frame, and I didn't think it was necessarily any faster or slower than Bioionics for her hair type. 
Using the Babyliss dryer on myself, I was able to dry my hair in 16 minutes, so it is the longest of the three. However, I was surprised by the power of this dryer for how baby it is in size. I was also really impressed with how well it did on my curly frizzy client. I really expected nothing from it if I'm being honest and it did a great job. It dried the section, I used it on fast and it got it smooth and straight. On my client with thick straight hair, it again was very fast at drying the section and I'm going to say it dried her hair pretty close in time frame um, compared to the Bioionic. So after spending this week using these dryers, I was honestly happy with the results I got from all three of them, but I wanna break down some key points. The Kristen S dryer, I don't love the fact that as far as compact, it is the biggest in size of the three. Compared to the Babyliss, it's huge. And while it's closer in size to Bioionic, it is still bigger. It is the only dryer to have a cool shot button, which can be so vital, but I feel most people don't ever actually use their cool shot button. So I kind of feel like it's not really a feature that's make or break for people. One thing I like about it is that it is so pretty, but when drying my one client her color transferred onto the dryer I was able to wipe it clean for the most part it just kind of annoyed me that it's easy to stain and my main problem with it is that it does not have a removable back to clean out the dust that builds up on it or protect it um, obviously you're not using these compact dryers quite as often as your standard one but it is still something to consider I just feel like with the smaller size and motor it's important to be able to clean your filters out to help and the life of your dryer. So if you're one who really likes using your cool shot button and you like more bounce and movement in your hair, I would probably recommend the Kristen S compact travel dryer. But if those aren't your ideal features, then I would say pass. The Bioionic really performed great. It comes with a travel bag, same as Kristen S and a cute little baby brush. It is the most expensive out of the three. With that being said though, the professional in me really appreciates the fact of out of the three, it's actually the only one with a true filter on the dryer. The mesh liner inside the back cap is going to give you that extra protection from dust and product coming through and getting into the dryer over Babyliss and Kristen S, which should technically extend the life of your dryer. Again, with that being said, I do realize that the average person does not clean their filter on their dryer, so I know it's not really an issue to most people, but it does make a difference, I promise. It did smooth out the hair of my curly frizzy client really well. And between myself and my two clients, I felt it got the hair dry the fastest of the three, which time is key. So I really like that about it. Last up, the baby list. Honestly, of the three, I was most impressed with this just by size alone. It's so tiny, making it the number one choice for compactness, but it does also deliver in dry time and smoothness. While it doesn't come with any sort of carrying case, it is still going to get the job done. It doesn't have a mesh liner like the Bioionic, but it does have a removable back cap that you will be able to clean and it will help filter out any dust and product buildup more than the Kristen S I feel. The nozzle is actually the smallest of the three dryers, which the smaller the width of the nozzle, technically the smoother your blow dry is going to be, which is awesome. So where Babyliss might add on a few more minutes compared to Kristen S and the Bioionic, I do feel the narrowness of the nozzle helps get your smoothness that you are wanting. The only thing I really didn't like about the baby list was that I found the nozzle, while I like the size, um, it comes off easily compared to the other two. All in all, you're not going to go wrong with any of these three dryers. If you have curly or wavy hair and you like more movement and bounce and your end result, go with the Kristen S. If you are one looking for fastest time, smoothness, and the best filter option, then you'll definitely wanna go with the Bioionic. And lastly, if you're trying to get smoothness for a compact dryer at the most affordable price point and the most convenient size, the baby list is going to be your best bet. So all three of these dryers, I have linked below to where you can buy them. We're on the cusp of holiday season, so it's a great time to try one out if you're going to be traveling and looking for smaller options to bring with you. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to find a dryer in the three that I reviewed. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next video.